Virgos, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please do smash that like and subscribe button if you enjoy what you hear here. And hello to everyone in the chat. This is a Virgo channel, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So you do not have to be a Virgo to get the messages. Um, and you guys, if you want to book a personal reading, I have opened up more slots. So the link will be in the description box below this video, I'm going to do a Celtic cross. Okay. Um, and if you need to do an extended, I will leave a link below this video for that. All right. And welcome all of my new members. So happy to have you guys here. Okay. Let's get into this. I'm going to start with the romance angels. See what the overall love messages are. This is going to be a reading obviously for November. The month of November 2022. Okay, you have wedding, Virgo. This situation involves marriage. Okay, what situation is that? <laughs> I can hear you guys. What situation? I don't have no situation. <laughs> Let's see what else, Virgo. Situation involves marriage. Somebody's getting going to the chapel tonight. Gonna get married. Reconciliation. Oh my goodness. I hear this too. Oh, I don't think so. I don't, I'm not doing that. Okay, well, somebody here wants to reconcile with you and bring it to the next level. Okay, take it to the next level. Someone from your past is returning to your life in November. Okay, let's see and release your ex what oh okay so whoever you were connected with virgo that was connected with another person they have let go of that ex okay maybe figuratively maybe literally um but somebody here has released their their ex or their partner or whomever they're connected to and is coming in to reconcile with you because this person wants to marry you. Pretty basic. Marry you or be in some kind of a long-term um, thing. They might also have been released. <laughs> they might have been dumped and they might have received a letter or a message or somebody told them and this could it's a separate message and somebody told them that they don't want them back or they don't want to be with them anymore okay so that's going to resonate in many different ways it's either they've released someone or um, most of it is that they've released someone but for a small percentage they were released all right let's get into this Celtic cross and see past present near future hopes and wishes, your advice, um, what's external, what's going on with the other person, a more in-depth look, and then the outcome. Okay, so past. Okay, the past, manipulation, cunning, trickery, wasted talent, illusion, and deception, high priestess energy, cancer, Pisces. Okay, hmm, so clarity, moon in reverse, so it looks like you've got some clarity in the past about a connection. Maybe you found out you were involved with someone and they had somebody else. Or maybe, well, yeah, that's kind of what it feels like. Or they had another person. Um, some of you, you regained your composure in the past, stopped gaslighting yourself, let go of fear. Uh, secrets came out, which is the high priestess in the reverse. Um, in the upright that's keeping secrets so secrets came out in the past that whoever you were connecting with in the past they either were connecting with someone else and you you must have ended something because there's a reconciliation on the table okay so let's take a look and see and again with that pisces cancer watery energy all right let's take a look and see what your present present energy is okay right now okay some of you your your webcam's not working <laughs> i don't i just heard that your webcam you're trying or your 
your camera on your phone's not working. I hope it's not for me. Um, okay, so basically, and this is a Virgo card, so the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, that really just gives me a sense of like, you are, some of you want to repair, want to be able to repair connection. Yep, the lovers in reverse, something that's broken. Some of you want this reconciliation to happen. You want the healing. You want to be able to have both of you, you know, currently repair. Um, the, or bring things back into balance, whatever their trust issues or conflicts. Um, or if someone had a lack of accountability to try to get more into... Yeah, there's conflicts. These cards are just flipping out. I'm not even calling for them. Um, it's a it's a real challenge, though. <clears throat> you know, because <clears throat> some of you, it's like you don't have an opportunity to repair it. So some of you aren't putting your effort in at all. But I feel like when this reconciliation happens, I do feel like you will be open and you will want to try to heal this person is coming back in to reconcile because they've cleared out that energy um and or tell you the truth okay um like have a conversation you know but i feel like um <clears throat> so they're just saying in the position of the benefit for you is to speak your truth to speak your mind like if there's going to be an argument let an argument happen if there's going to be disagreements have disagreements i do feel like it's going to be difficult though to repair this connection if somebody's coming in and they want reconciliation um you might be a little bit defensive, you know, so I, I kind of feel like you're, you know, you're, you're teetering, you know, part of you is like, yeah, you want to have it, but the other part of you is like, I don't know, there's so much conflict, you don't, there's so much strife, or there were battles or things that have happened, some of you don't know if it can be, you know, the lovers in reverse, even in the reverse, it's still a good card, it's just that there's a separation. It just means that you two are at opposite ends of things. Right now, there was some kind of split. And there's a heartbroken kind of energy. Again, conflict in the heart. Um, so I feel like right now, Virgo, you're not putting any effort into trying to reconcile with anyone, whoever this person is. Um, and that, that could be for various reasons. But I feel like you might... If the opportunity arises, you might re try to repair, not necessarily to get married or be in a relationship with this person because the trust might be so broken that it might not even be possible. It's going to take so much effort. I mean, this person's going to have to come in with those bloody stumps, seriously. And, you know, and so when I say bloody stumps, it just means they're going to humble themselves and be open and have an honest, open communication and really be willing to put in the effort and the work. And I don't know that you feel like this person will. Maybe they will. I mean, if they're willing to come forward because they've let go of an ex or they were let go of, you know, an ex doesn't have, so it could just be an energy of whatever's left over. They were been stuck on someone for a long time and things couldn't come to fruition between you and them. Uh, because that person, this person here, could not get that other person out of their head. It's kind of like a phantom lover. You know what I mean? Um, so let's take a look and see what's driving you right now, Virgo. Okay. So you have the Nine of Cups. Beautiful. Your intention, wish fulfillment for yourself. You're racking up them trophies. Um, you are <laughs> putting your display case out, remembering who the F you are. Okay, making your accomplishments happen, um, realizing your dreams. You're in a place of prosperity. You're going after your success, achievements, and rewards. I see you being very confident in November. Okay, um, 
and you're also kind of I don't know that you're being cocky but I do feel like that confidence is like you know what you're worth and you have everything here behind you to prove it right and you're showing it you're showing your worth and your value right and I don't necessarily mean it's like it doesn't have to be materialism but it can be more on the lines of your achievements, you know, the things that you've accomplished. And you're, you're still doing that. That's your focus on, is on realizing your dreams, wish fulfillment for yourself. And you also know, I feel like, that you are <laughs> somebody's wish. If it's not this person, and, and I feel like this is what your mindset is, if that person isn't going to be your wish come true, you know that's fine but you also know that you will be somebody's wish come true one man's tr one man's garbage is another man's treasure right so i feel like that's the confidence in you okay um virgo you're something i love my virgos so much let me see here virgos are just like straight and to the point no holds barred they just very clear about where they are with things okay let's see what's crowning what's crowning you what are your your highest ideals okay okay you've got well burden burden's a gift ten of ten of wands <clears throat> so you have a lot on your shoulders at this time you know you might have like a heavy weight on your shoulders um you have a lot of obligations, you know, and especially with you, Virgo, trying to realize your dreams, that takes a huge amount of self-responsibility. It's like an uphill struggle. It's not, that's not something that comes easily. So I feel like your mindset right now, apart from having a reconciliation, I don't feel like you have wedding bells in your mind, um, at least not in November. I feel like your intentions here are to just get yourself whatever the struggle is like the obstacles are being put coming down and you're conquering them okay you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders um you feel taken for granted definitely um you've got those problems in your life that you're trying to overcome you're you're doing your duties as you should and sticking with your obligations to get yourself in a more successful position trying to realize your dreams. That's not going to come without struggle, okay? Um, but as far as this love relationship goes, I just want to get another clarifying card for the past. Okay, so justice in the reverse. Karma and retribution. Whoa. Um, hmm. <laughs> we'll say some of you, I don't feel like you're being vengeful. But I do feel like you're probably in the past were like, you know, and that's Libra and energy in the past, probably more along the lines of like wondering if someone's going to get their karma <laughs> or if they're going to be karmic avoidant. You know, you have some energy here in the past where there was dishonesty, again, lack of accountability, unfairness, could have been a divorce that you went through or a legal battle that wasn't in your favor. Some, it, I don't know if, it, so I feel like in the long run it was in your favor if something ended, if you ended it or somebody else ended it, um, but you might have felt like it wasn't in your favor. You might have felt like you lost something. Okay, the Empress. Some of you may have felt like you lost an opportunity to have a child or to have this new beginning in your life, okay? Um, but I don't feel like you lost your femininity, male or female energy. I don't feel like you lost your artistic talent. I don't feel like you lost your beauty or your, you know, your creativity or your ability to be nurturing, um, mothering. I don't feel like you lost f your fertility if that's something that you are wanting some of you some of you may have gone through uh, some of the ladies may have gone through uh, the change of life and some of you may have felt like because if you wanted a child with someone or with this person that didn't happen 
um, because things ended and then you wound up like getting too old. Some of you were like already gone through the change and that wasn't even a concern, you know, but you're still, because the Empress is in the upright. So, you know, you're still in abundance, okay, despite the lack, despite something that ended or something that you lost. Okay. All right. Let's see what's coming towards you in the near future. I also have Sagittarius, Leo, Gemini. Okay. What's coming towards Virgo in the near future? Oh, okay. Knight of Pentacles. So, well, this is a card of long-term commitment. I'm going to tell you that. Of all the knights, that's the one you want. Someone's coming in real slow, definitely. Could be a Capricorn. Making an offer. Going to put in that hard work. Finishing what they started is what I'm hearing. Okay, this person comes in very patient, very routine, responsible, persistent, protective, conservative. Maybe this is someone who's like um, politically conservative. Okay, ambitious, hard worker. Okay, now if that's your past person and you're like, no, that doesn't sound like them, they're, they're coming in that way now. Okay, so I have to tell you, excuse me, um, it's slow, it's slow going, but I'm definitely feeling going into, especially so in November, I do feel like there's going to be a reconciliation of some sort, but I do feel like an offer is going to be put on the table right before Christmas. Right before Christmas, the 21st, 22nd, 20th, somewhere around the, that time period of December, okay? And that would be the near future. That's not November. November, there is some kind of reconciliation or this person is letting go or an ex situation has ended and they're in this mindset of re reaching out to you contacting you again this time for the full monty for the full long-term sacred union wedding marriage what have you all right let's see what your advice is for november what is virgo's vice advice not vice what is Virgo's advice for November? Okay. <laughs> Virgo, you have the seven of swords. Make a run for it. <laughs> run, Virgo, run. Make a break for it. <laughs> um, it's also a card of strategy. <clears throat> you really... It, so, Virgo, I feel like somebody's coming in here to really make a full-blown offer. I mean... Even with that pentacle there, it's someone like giving you a gift as a token of a promise to you, okay? I feel like for you, your advice is to really sit down and figure something out, strategize a plan, how something is going to work. And if it's not going to work for you, strategize a plan to make a break for it. Aquarian energy there, okay? Um, also take a look. Don't take any risky behavior with this person okay <laughs> although i will say all right now they're telling me no that's not right your your advice is i'm taking that back redact that your advice here is to take a risk <laughs> i don't know what that is for some of you the risk is to say yes and for some of you the risk is to say no which might be a big deal that might be a big risk for you because there might be somebody here who doesn't want to say no, okay? And some of you might want to. Okay. I'm also hearing your advice is to do a little background check to find out if this person has let go of an ex, if they actually have. Like, you need some backup. You need some proof. <laughs> That's what the spying is before you say anything like you need to have. I feel like spirits trying to tell you that you need to have like you need to have everything on paper, signed, sealed, delivered, like because I don't know. There's a lack of trust. 
I don't feel like you will trust this person. So you need like to have their ex contact you. You need something written. You need some proof of some sort if this person is really telling you the truth because you don't I, don't, I don't see that you trust this person. Okay. And some of you, because I feel like some of you, if they got dumped or somebody like ended it with them and they're coming back to you now, that's kind of sketch. Okay. Um, and for that percentage of you that find out that that's what's going on, I feel like that's why you either need to find out the truth or just say no, schmo, and leave. Because if somebody's coming back to you because they got dumped, um, yeah, that's kind of reboundish. You know, we have reconciliation. That's an RE. Release the X. There could be a rebound situation for some, but you got to find that out, okay? And for others, they could just be coming in and saying, you know, I don't know. I feel like you don't trust. So your thought process might be they're lying or they dumped that person and they're coming back to you um, until you don't, you and them don't work out. And then they go back to the ex. Like, it, there is some, I'm not saying that that's happening, but I feel like some of you might be like, um, I can't believe I'm doing this whole reading with my microphone has not been near my face. I hope you guys have been able to hear it. Um, I feel like some of you are, are just going to want to check to make sure. All right, let me, let's take a look at this person. See what the energy is with this person. Okay. So they have grief. They're sad. Okay. They feel abandoned. They were abandoned. They have guilt, remorse. Okay. I don't feel like this is someone who is you know, the big narc word, because a narc wouldn't have that, um, unless they're just having it for themselves, but we're not going down that road. Um, this person's in a place of heartbreak, an unwelcome change. I, I do feel like for the majority of you, um, let me get more information. That's Scorpio energy there. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is... Oh, just when I said... Just when I said, I don't feel like this is the, the narc word. Here's the emperor in the reverse. All right. Well, that changes things just a little bit. <laughs> yes, it does. Um... This person got their ego handed to them. <laughs> Definitely. They might be high in like e egotistical traits. Um, hmm. Or they were dealing with someone who was very narcissistic. Um, there's a lot of grief surrounding this person. And I am definitely going to go in the extended to see what this energy is all about here. Um, is this person... Okay. So they sit with grief... They sit with arguments. Aries, Gemini. You guys, this is tough right now. Hold on a minute. I don't know if they were connected. So for some, it's both. It's both. I have to give you both the messages. They might have been connected with someone that was very abusive and was stalking and spying on them and giving them a lot of grief, okay? Arguments, someone who was uh, not being patient, someone who was um, very curious about them, very strange, very strange. I feel like they had a lot of, uh, it could have been a father figure, um, it could have been like a father. This person had a lot of abuse issues with a father. Could also be um, a person that they were connecting with as an energy um, where this person was just giving them a lot of grief and a lot of problems, that kind of thing. But also, 
the, uh, the flip side of the coin, for some of you also, this person was the abuser. And some of you <clears throat> got away from that person. And now they're regretting that they lost you, not because they miss you and not because there's love, but it was just a reliving of their trauma, the abandonment, and they lost what you were giving to them. And they also lost somebody else. Oh boy. So, you know, these readings, like, I don't know. If I go into the extended, because if it's going to turn into a narc reading, I don't have the energy. <laughs> but, because I'm just telling you right now, if that's the case, that's why you need to make a break for it. That's why you need to run. Okay. If that's the situation, Virgo, like, get out of Dodge as fast as you can. Okay. Because there's a trust issue. You might think this person has absolutely no conscience. Um, they're someone who pretended to care. And I'm not saying that's what the situation is. I'm saying that's how you might have felt. Like if they really loved you, why would they lie and be deceptive and cheat and do the things that they did, right? Um, you might have just felt tricked. So some of you, I feel like that's why your advice is to get the heck out of Dodge. Like don't even go back to that, okay? And for others, if this is not the case and this person had like say an abusive parent, they had a lot of trauma in their life or they were connected with someone who was very abusive to them. Um, they got their karma. They got, they got some kind of karma was served. Do you know what I mean? Because that's what that Empress in the upright is. I'm not, I'm sorry. Justice in the reverse is is karmic retribution. I feel like in the past, if you ended something with someone, you might have felt like, oh, I'm the one who's going to get the karma. This person's never going to get it. They're just going to, you know, flip off and go live their life and just not even care and throw the cares to the wind. They don't even care about me. No, I don't see that. I don't see that happening. Okay, so there's a small percentage. I'm going to say this. There's a small percentage of you that you were dealing with high malignant narcissism with someone very tiny small percentage okay for the rest of you this person got their karma from somebody else and this person is in a state of grief they know that you're the one for them and they want to try to reconcile with you let me just get one more advice card for you Virgo these damn readings you know what I'm I think I'm going to just give up YouTube and just go be a fitness trainer. I think that might be my next phase. Or maybe I'll just make fitness videos um, at some point and then I'll just attach it to this channel and you guys can have uh, fitness videos and tarot. <laughs> How about that? How's that sound? I'll let you know. All right. Give me another clarifying card here for, oh, give me two. Oh, jeez. Okay. That's some Ten of Swords and the Seven of Cups. So betrayal, backstabbing, um, a lack of commitment, someone living in a fantasy world. I feel like your advice here, Virgo, <laughs> for some of you, it might be to like just give back to this person what they you might feel that they gave to you. But that is being vengeful and you don't want to be vengeful because that keeps you attached. Because then if they never feel the, the effects of that, you're always going to be wondering if it worked. Don't get into vengeance. If anything, you know, if somebody ghosted you, for some of you, this might be like you need to ghost this person and run away from it. But for others, I feel like for others, your advice here is to surrender and talk and see what this person has to say, okay? Because some of you are 100% sure that the person you were dealing with was, you know, up in that narcissism spectrum thing. And some of you are 
100% sure that's not what it was. And some of you are on the fence. You're not sure. So you may need more clarity to find that out because that Seven of Cups is being basically unsure, like can't make heads or tails. Somebody's in ghost mode, but they're still present. They're still around. Okay. Some of you are like, was this wishful thinking? Was it an illusion? Was I just dreaming? Am I hallucinating? Um, or did this really happen? Did this person or, or are they? I'm just feeling very severe trust issues on your end. Okay. So let's take a look at your hopes and fears. Maybe I'll do an extended tomorrow. I'm not in the mood to go into this narcissism thing because I really feel like spirit's trying to drag me into that and I'm not feeling it. So I will tell you that there is someone here who's sitting in a position of grief. Um, they're definitely heartbroken. Somebody left them or did something to them. Could be, like I said, maybe an issue with a father um, or an ex. This person is kind of emotionally unstable and a lot of that is coming to, to you maybe to partially help them feel better and also because they want this reconciliation and they want to move things forward. I think they just feel like somebody learned their lesson here and they must have just been very immature in the past and they sure did get a dose of grow up medicine. Or they sure are. Okay. I, I just want to get one more card for that. Okay. Yeah, this person's single. So they got dumped. They definitely... They either got dumped or they, are, or they dumped somebody. They're definitely... This person is definitely single. Okay. There isn't anybody else here. But I'm going to leave that up to you to find that out. Okay. You have to do the footwork. But they are showing up independent thriving and at least in business and status but the heartbreak the the emotional state not too great okay they may have gotten cut off also from financial wealth as well inheritance or some kind of money by somebody <clears throat> or there was some kind of like dumper or dumpy energy all right Let's see the hopes and fears for you, Virgo. What are Virgo's hopes and fears? Okay. All right. So you're hoping you're going to have a choice. I feel like you don't want to be without choices in your life. Definitely. You don't want to be stuck on one person. But I, I feel like you're, you're kind of in a position of like, well... I hope I'll be able to choose whether to stay or go. I don't know what that exactly means because you always have that choice. Um, because I feel like maybe right now as you're listening to this reading, you might feel obligated for some reason. Obligation because of time or because of where you are in your life or because you might feel like Oh, there isn't going to be anybody else or because you're getting older or because you haven't had children yet, right? Um, <clears throat> or if this person wanted to have children and something ended, it might be too late for you. I feel like you're definitely going to be arriving at a crossroad and you hope that you're going to be able to make a good decision because that's a card about decisions, okay? Um and take a decision that requires action with the wands but it's a card all about choice some of you it's like am i going to be able to detach or am i going to be able to or should i wait you know there, there's a lot on your plate also there's something to do here about immigration And something to do about suddenly leaving. Okay, let me see. Show me one more. Okay, we have a jumper here. Yeah, there's you. Mm -hmm. Could be a financial decision you need to make. Are you willing to give up the abundance that you've been accumulating 
and share the wealth with another person here do that again yeah you're gonna i feel like you're just hoping you're gonna have options and a choice okay for yourself and for what you want to do without have, feeling obligated to do something let's see what your outcome message is what's the outcome gonna be the overall energy the overall outcome okay wow look king of pentacles okay you might end up with a taurus there might be or there might be, yeah they might be coming into your life that could be the person that is coming in with the reconciliation okay and then the two of swords in the reverse wow okay well i feel like a compromise i feel like and so it could be it could be a taurus but it doesn't have to be this person comes in like i said they're a match to you so whether that's a match in business um this person is a lot like you where they well definitely there's maturity now okay um, or there's at least maturity. This person shows up successful, wealthy. Um, this person, I will say, is in a position of, of, of having had or will be bettering themselves for this relationship. They're not taking any more risks. They're not being compulsive. Okay, so they're no longer unstable or corrupt. That's interesting because I was feeling corruption here in the past. Okay, so I feel like this person's like seeing the truth. Definitely seeing the truth of themselves. But what about you? What about what will the outcome be for you, Virgo? Because I feel like this person is definitely coming in to compromise. Coming in with a compromise. And is going to tell you the truth and expose all the lies in the bowl of whatever they were hiding or being deceitful with and about in the past. All right, let's see, Virgo. What is Virgo's energy? Wow. Well, it looks like you're going to seize this opportunity. Let go of regret. Um, come to the end of a stagnated problem I feel like you're going to be motivated and enthusiastic but I don't feel like it's just going to happen out of the blue I feel like that's going to be your reaction to this person coming in where bettering themselves you know understand that even if this person is on the narc spectrum they can get help it's only if there's um like psychopathy or like antisocial, you know, psychological issues going on, then I, I'm not a doctor, so I don't know the full scoop on that. But I do know like if someone is struggles with like borderline or there's bipolar or um, there's other types of things like a little maybe cluster B stuff or C, there can be help. There can be therapy. Um, are they going to be open to that? Yes, because they're coming in with that King of Pentacles where that energy is uh, bettering yourself, bettering themselves. Okay. I feel like for you, Virgo, if you're seeing that and that person is willing, capable and motivated to do that with you, then I think that there's a good chance that something here will work out. Now for others, if this is the person that's coming in who's like full-blown narc and you're distancing yourself and making a break for it I do feel like this person will postpone and try again another try to seize the opportunity another time because they feel like they don't want you to get away that's crazy so you know oh did you just did my camera just go wonky what the heck all right, let me see what the messages of love are. Go, Phils. 
All right, let me see. Go Phillies, go Eagles. What's going on in, in Philly? <laughs> With all, like, I'm just so shocked. All right, let me see. What other message does Virgo need to know? Messages of love. Okay, abundance. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. Awesome. For some of you, that's just either you're working on yourselves or you're just in this position now where you're, you are, are, you've let go and therefore like the gates have opened. The, the flow is now on its way to you in November um, or as of as right now as I'm giving this reading. Here and now, your true love is already part of your life. Okay, so whoever you're thinking about as you come into this reading, if you're completely single and there isn't anyone, this is probably not your reading. This is for someone who's in here and they got this person on their mind. I know a lot of you... <laughs> I know a lot of you come in here with that person on your mind and then you're you're leaving comments or you're in the chat like I don't want them I don't want them and you know I don't do singles readings every day so unless you're just here for the chat what are you doing <laughs> okay but whoever your true love is they're already a part of your life all right let me see Okay, you also have new love or recommitment to love is developing. So for some of you, there is a new love connection. Does that mean that this past person um, isn't going to come back? No, um, they might stop trying. Some of you might do the old, sorry, I'm seeing somebody now. Um, because you, you, by the end of November, you will be, or at some time in November, you, you definitely will be. Um, and I just feel like since I just said singles, that's a message for you guys. There is definitely new love on the horizon if you're not already in a new love relationship right now. But there's also a recommitment to love that's beginning to develop. And that's what I was saying. All right, let's see what else. Boundaries. There you go. Take it back to the other reading I gave you. Firm boundaries are needed now. Okay, you gotta put your boundaries up. Bloody stumps. Intuition. You already know the answer you seek. I cannot tell you what your intuition is telling you. I can only tell you what the energies are that are coming out here. You, when you click off this video and when this energy happens, it's up to you and only you. Now you could call me and book a personal reading with that situation and I can try to help you through that and see what comes out of that. The link will be underneath the video. But if you don't do that, this is totally going to be up to you. I can't bring you a lover and I can't make your lover go away. That's your responsibility. You have to be the one your intuition knows. So you either know that this is your person and you guys went through a very serious rough, rough patch and some stuff happened and it just needs a whole bunch of healing and love and forgiveness and therapy and bloody stumps and all that shiz. Fine. And for others, your answer is already, I'm not going back to that. No. So I'm either, I'm confirming it here one way or another. Okay. Stability. This relationship can stand the test of time. All right. Well, you know what, Virgo? It could. It's possible. It just depends on what the deal is with your person. All right. Let me get some moon pie messages here. Okay. There's a love offer. There you go. There's a love offer coming in. Okay, so like I said, it, this could be like your healthy person where you guys just had some problems and the love comes in again um, and they're willing to, they want to better themselves for you and for the relationship and for themselves um, or it's the end person, um, the wolf in sheep's clothing who is going to come in with that love offer and if you say it, you turn them down, they're going to just sit back and wait and seize the opportunity again later. Okay, so they're going to keep coming back. <laughs> oh, goodness. 
Okay, negative thinking. Well, I don't know if you noticed, but that came out in reverse and I just tipped it so you could see. Um, so negative thinking in reverse is obviously positive thinking, getting out of your head, getting out of your own way when it comes to making your decisions, right? Um, not overanalyzing things or going down a rabbit hole. Okay, you have mature, dynamic, fiery male in the reverse. That's the king of wands in the reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this is someone who will be significant in your life. It doesn't have to be this person. It could be um, who comes across as a bully. Or they have um, some sexual issues. They're weak or they come in not yet ready or someone is not yet ready to make the love offer. They may be taking their time until the time is right. Okay. And direct honest female, that's you. Um, as far as, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to you this way. For the males, you may be showing up. Um, also, not yet ready to accept this love offer. Okay, so being more in a fiery energy um, because you might feel like you've built up so much strength and abundance and tolerance and endurance that this situation you might have a fear. That if somebody comes back in, they lull you to sleep with their soft, kind words, or they, you get weak at the knees for them, <laughs> okay? Um, so you might just kind of be a little more hesitant to accept this, okay? Because remember I said, some kind of trust issue. Now for the females, this direct honest female energy is you. This is you basically saying uh, total honesty, nothing else. I must have total honesty or nothing else. Okay, you have a, there's a deeply loving male here in the reverse who is not transitioning, is not changing, okay? Um, so direct down is female, deeply loving male in reverse. That's the king of cups in the reverse. That's someone who could be emotionally manipulative, um, and not willing to transition or end their suffering, okay? Like I said, that uh, five of cups with that grief and that loss, that could be the narc energy, okay? But I think we already went through that, so I'm not going to go through that whole story again. Okay, right now for you, Virgo, peace. That's Sagittarius energy. That's temperance. So that's basically you being in this position of patience, self-control, and moderation. I don't know if that's your advice or if there's something there. That I feel like for a lot of you, this is just a place that you just want peace. You just want peace, balance, harmony. You're, you're letting spirit work in your life, the supernatural. Good things are happening behind the scenes that you might not have seen yet, but you've got to trust that God is working in your life. Even when you feel discouraged, be patient and trust his timing. Um, let me see. What are the Chinese signs? Okay. Year of the rat. Year of the dog. Year of the rabbit. Year of the ox. Year of the tiger. Year of the pig. Year of the monkey. Tiger again. Rabbit again. Year of the Dragon. Okay, that might be you, might be your person, might be neither of you. Don't worry about it. And you know what? Let me just do a couple of names. I think we were calling out names yesterday and they they really kind of fit. But I'm, whatever comes up is what I'm going to give you here for a little bit of a quali qu qu quantitative. Is that the word I'm looking for? I don't even know what that means. I heard somebody say it on YouTube the other day. I was like, I'm going to start saying that word. Quantitative. Quant quantitate. I can't even say it now. Quantify. I just love that word. I'm weird. All right. Let me see. <clears throat> okay. 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 Somebody's birthday is March 12th. All right. Um, somebody is Asian. Okay. We also have uh, March 16th. Okay, either it's a birthday or it's the dates between March 12th and March 16th. Okay, um, initials A, we have initials H. Okay, 
Okay. We have the initial S, <clears throat> the initial V, as in Victor or Valerie. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. I just heard somebody say me. That's me. Okay. Okay, so they just gave you this weird message. You drive either a black or a white car and your person drives or you, or your person one of you drives a black and one of you drives a white car. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. All right, I just heard Ruby or Ruben, Ruby or Ruben, or maybe it's Rupert, Ruby, Rupert, Rupert, Ruben. Okay, let's see. Oh, and um, okay, Emerald. I'm hearing emerald. Okay, let me see. All right, they're giving me GX. GX. I don't know if you know what that is, but you'll see that somewhere, the letter GX. Okay, let's see. Okay, they're telling me Ukraine. I mean, that's, I don't know why they're telling, maybe somebody's from Ukraine or they're Ukrainian, American, or wherever, anywhere in the world. Okay. Q7. I'm hearing Q7 or Q5. Hold on, you guys. These messages are strong. Okay. Hmm. Somebody get go to Dairy Queen. They just gave me Dairy Queen. Okay. And somebody's likes soy, soy, soy milk, soy sauce. I just heard soy. Maybe you're doing something with soy, soy diet. Okay. Hmm. All right. So, I don't know what's with the cars. They're giving me a sports car, a Z, the letter Z with a sports car. Let me see if I could just get some actual names. Okay, I just heard Keenan. Keenan. Um, somebody's 57. They just gave me the age 57, or born in 57. Okay, let me see. Names, names, names. Okay. So we have a name. Uh, so starts with a C. I don't know if it's Clara. There's a C. R. I'm hearing an A. Oh, that's a car. <laughs> what is with the cars? Does someone, are you in your car listening to this? Maybe that's what it is. I'm picking up you driving in your car as you're listening or you're, you're getting into your car. You just got out of your car. Okay. I'm trying to get names and it's weird. Okay. Um, hmm. All right. Well, they're not really giving me... All right, so I just heard bonjour. Somebody says bonjour or uses that phrase, bonjour. Maybe it's bon jovi. Bonjour. You saw bon jovi? Are you listening to bon jovi? Okay. Um, so I'm hearing grace. 
And I'm also hearing um, somebody likes to jog as part of their exercise or you, somebody's jogging right now. Okay. <clears throat> There's Mimi or somebody sings. They're warming up their vocals. Okay. And Mimi, Maureen, Mickey. Okay. And I just heard CJ. All right. So I don't know if that's somebody's name, initial, whatever it might be, CJ. All right. Let me get a charm. I'm going to skip the birth, the numbers tonight. All right. We have a seahorse and a Christmas candle. All right, you guys. So something here with a seahorse. There might be like um, a sex change. Somebody's going through a transition, a sex change, um, or there's... Um, there's, or there's a male that's having a baby, or you know a male that <laughs> Listen, I'm just giving the messages. I don't know what's going on there. Um, or you know of some males that had a baby, okay? Maybe there's a, no, this is not a male who, this is actually, okay, so I'm leaving it. I'm not going there. I, I don't, I don't know seahorse okay so somebody likes seahorses so there's something about seahorses um, that you have a connection to um, and i don't really know what the spiritual meaning of seahorses but i know there's something here about seahorse there's a connection okay or somebody's going around town dumping their seed everywhere okay or you just dropped your seeds off at school <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i need to shut up okay so there's this Christmas candle. So it's like a candle that's wrapped in there. There's holly all around it. Or maybe snow. Okay. It, it feels like greenery. It might be like a Christmas, like a candle that clips to a Christmas tree. Um, it, it feels like, it feels like, um, I'm just here, I'm seeing holly. So I don't know if there's somebody's name is holly. Are there something to do with a holly or Christmas holly or something along those lines? Something to do with Christmas. I feel like I just need to get one more. I just feel like they just said get one more. Okay. Oh, and now there's a rose. Okay, maybe that's somebody's name or Christmas rose. Is that a thing? Uh, something rose. Um... If somebody drinks tea that has the name rose in it or rose petals, rose hips, rose hip tea. I'm not sure what that is. There's a connection to rose for sure. And this, there's also um, somebody is, all right, so I'm channeling someone here coming in that they're saying that they love you. This is someone who's passed. Um, this person struggled in their life. Um, I'm seeing, okay, they're giving me two people. So I'm seeing a, a male and he is uh, African skin color and hair. So I don't know if he's African American or from Africa or somewhere, wherever he might be. Um, he struggled in his life. He was very sad. Something must have happened to him. And he wants you to know that he loves you. And light a candle for him at Christmas. I'm hearing that. Or, or, or on his birthday, maybe his birthday was in September. Uh, something about lighting candles for him or, you know, remember him. He's watching over you and he's sorry. And there's also a female and she's an older woman and looks like she has gray hair and um, she's the one that I was first talking about she works very very she worked very hard like fingers to the bone all of her life many many hours um, she never asked for any help she had health problems due to stress so she maybe passed away um, I'm just hearing Mima okay I'm hearing Mima and she wants you to know that she also loves you. And she, her message to you, I'm hearing, is uh, don't miss out 
on the good stuff of life. Don't do what I did. Don't work your fingers to the bone. Ask for help. Don't go it alone, I'm hearing. All right, you guys. Heavy duty stuff, but there's your messages for, um, gosh, November 2nd, 3rd. I actually think November 2nd is my grandmother's birthday. Wow. Um, I think I just remembered that. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to leave that there. Um, by the time you get this, hopefully the Phillies have won game four or are about to. <laughs> but I won't be stalking you all in the chat. My eyes will be glued to the TV tonight because this is a big deal. So if you're a Phillies fan, put Go Phillies in the chat or in the comments below and send that good luck and those good vibes to the team. All right, you guys. So I don't think I'm going to do an extended reading. I'll do that for tomorrow. So again, if you want to get a personal reading, I've opened up more hours and slots. So go over there and check that out. The link is in my description box below the video here. And I will see you all tomorrow. And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need What you need We're broken, it's tragic, we're not